A nine-year-old boy once had a dream. A dream in which he found himself engaged in a feud with a group of boys. Fighting his way through, he suddenly found himself surrounded by wolves as a lady appeared. Make yourself humble, strong and energetic, she said. And what you see happening to these wolves, you will do for my children. The boy looked around to find all the wolves having transformed into lambs. Don Bosco thus awoke to begin his mission, which led him on to changing the lives of many young boys around him. Before seeking the aid of Pope Pius IX to create a congregation aimed at the salvation of the young, fighting all kinds of poverty, holding aloft his very own motto, Give me souls, take away the rest. With time and St. Mary Dominica Mazzarello aiding him, Don Bosco founded the Institute of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians, the Salesian Sisters, thus giving life to the Salesian cooperators and periodically adding about 30 other such groups to the Salesian family. The parish church is a community of believers who live their faith by fostering communion and fraternity, drawing inspiration from the values of Jesus Christ. After successfully establishing a Salesian family across the world, on 14th January 1906, the first group comprising six Salesians reached Tanjavur in India. With the dawn of January 1922, 11 Salesians led by Father Louis Matthias reached Shillong to open a house of formation for the Salesians in Shillong, thus beginning their mammoth mission to bringing education and reform into a country diversely abundant in her cultures, India. Today there are 15,000 Salesians working in 132 countries around the world including 11 provinces and about 700 Salesian institutions in South Asia. In India we have 2,700 Salesian priests and brothers, 1,300 Salesian sisters, 27,000 Salesian cooperators with over 50,000 registered past pupils. There are nearly 30 groups and associations that have been added to the Salesian family. During this phase, the candidates live in a Salesian formation community and discern the option to be a Salesian priest or brother. The program consists of prayer, an apostolate and college work or pastoral experience as needed. The Salesians have formation houses across the country for the training of prospective candidates who feel attracted to the Salesian way of life. The Don Bosco Renewal Center at Bangalore is an international training center for the Salesians of Don Bosco, offering courses in renewal and ongoing formation amidst other professional development programs. The Don Bosco Youth Animation Program seeks not only to assist the poorer youth, but also to protect and teach them how to help themselves. The aim of the entity being the overall physical, moral, spiritual and psychological upliftment of the young. Don Bosco pointed out that the three components to the transformation of society lay in the preventive system. Reason, religion and loving-kindness with a vision statement to mold young persons into intellectually competent, morally upright, socially committed and spiritually inspired citizens at the service of India and the world for today and tomorrow by imparting holistic and personalized education. We have established 257 schools, 42 colleges, 120 technical education institutions 
and the Assam Don Bosco University. Don Bosco India also organizes a national educational conference of Don Bosco schools every two years, so educational leaders can ideate on ways to impart quality education. That while we can change some things in life, there will always be cosmetic, but the heart and soul of an institution will always remain the same. And for me, Don Bosco has provided me that heart and soul which will always be in my DNA, irrespective of where I go, where I reach. I want to say that I've always felt this connection with Don Bosco. If you feel that uh, when you go back, the school doesn't really care, or the parents don't really care. And I never had uh, that feeling here. On the contrary, I would always be called assembly, something special would be done. And uh, I have no doubt that that played a big role in my progress uh, from the time I was uh, six or seven till I became a grandmaster. We are also among the first of the Salesian congregation across the world to obtain a trademark on Don Bosco. As we celebrate the bicentenary year of St. Don Bosco, I must acknowledge the contribution of the Don Bosco School and the priests to my life. If I am wherever I am today, it's because of what I gained from this glorious institution in the formative years of my life. Among the various technical educational programs provided by Don Bosco Institution, DB Tech is the single largest network in India in providing quality technical training in formal and non-formal streams, second only to the Government of India. With a mission skilling India and a vision that aims to bridge the digital, social and economic divide in India by significantly contributing to the development of the marginalized youth, enhancing their employability and life management skills, the goal of DB Tech is to impart market-oriented, employment-linked training to at least 2 million youngsters by 2020. A great variety of projects, services and facilities for the poorer youth have been the heart of the Salesian family from the time of Don Bosco to this day. So I know that Don Bosco has always encouraged holistic development. Please allow yourselves to bloom, to blossom. Believe in yourselves. In an environment like this, you can only blossom. objective of the shelter was to make sure that children who were on the streets were taken off the streets. First thing first. They used to be at the shelter, there were some of them used to go back to the streets and then bring them back into the shelter and making sure for starters went to school so that they were not misguided in the mean streets. Homelink is one of the most appreciated of our ventures. The Missing Child Search Network System, or MCS, is for every vulnerable child, whether lost, abandoned, orphaned, a runaway, or rendered destitute, where the child is protected and nurtured from the moment they are found until they are placed in alternate homes. Don Bosco's Young at Risk has its presence in 73 centers in 19 states and union territories, reaching out to an average of 20 million children across India.
A sane society needs a sane mind and to achieve that goal, the Salesian Psychological Association or the SPA, set up in the year 1999, aims at promoting mental health and psychological well-being of individuals by promoting research and preparing a cadre of mental health professionals. Accommodation is a growing concern among the youth in India. Don Bosco India today have 141 boarding houses and 74 hostels all designed to offer the poorest a chance for education and a new lease of life. Boscom South Asia was an entity formed in 1993 to coordinate inter-provincial communication activities. Among its many projects, Bosco Information Service or BIS functions at the provincial level, whereas www.donboscoindia.com functions at the regional level for South Asia. The Salesian Bulletin, another service, is the official magazine for the Salesian family in India. It is published at 20 different Salesian publishing houses in their vernacular languages. The social communication centers also produce movies, documentaries, softwares and apps to train people to spread the good news. The Don Bosco's Madonna magazine today enjoys the widest circulation among all Catholic magazines. In 2010, conceptualized by Boscom and published by Tej Prasarini, the President of the Pontifical Commission for Social Communication, Archbishop Claudio Maria Celli, launched three books under the banner Communication for Pastoral Leadership for the Seminaries of India. These books are dedicated to the formation of people involved in communication, to prepare people to communicate the good news. And I think that really this is a, a kind of leadership in this field. Until now, also in the whole church, we have not something like this. With the urge to push the creative imagery among the youth, Boscom India has also conducted the Don Bosco Bicentenary International Short Film Festival in India at 55 venues in 18 states across India. BoscoNet's main function is resource mobilization and empowerment of the youth in South Asia. It was the first institution to provide aid and financial assistance to the Nepal earthquake victims, raising about 3 million euros worldwide. Research drives a country forward and the Don Bosco institutions in India have undertaken many research projects in the fields of youth development and empowerment, periodically organizing symposiums, seminars and workshops in different provinces. Ms. Manika Gandhi, Union Cabinet Minister, Women and Child Development, on 23rd January 2015, quoted the Rapid Assessment Survey of Street-Involved Children by the Don Bosco YAR Forum, which shows the number of street-involved children in New Delhi being 69,976. Don Bosco Action India, through its partner organizations, is involved in many development programs across the country to empower poor communities, especially the youth, by providing a platform to create a national impact against injustice. The network is currently focusing on self-help groups integrated farming, water, ecology, environment and children for future interventions on reference to the Millennium Development Goals or MDGs. The Don Bosco Centre for Indigenous Culture is a unique venture by the Salesians of Don Bosco in Northeast India to promote and preserve the numerous, beautiful and diverse indigenous cultures of the region and the subcontinent as a whole. Don Bosco has come a long way since its establishment with bicentenary projects taking shape.
It is not enough that you love the young. They must know that they are loved. This was Don Bosco's motto. And millions of youth are experiencing this love of Don Bosco through his solutions in India. Separated from his parents at five, a street child was cared for and educated by the Salesians and is now pursuing his engineering degree. I am Arjun Singh, a proud Don Boscoite, and I hope to do the same for other children in need as the Salesians have done for me. I love Don Bosco. Yeah! Just you and me.